Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video. So we've covered email signatures in the past, the importance and how to create email signatures. Email signatures that convert into leads and email signatures that just look straight up professional. So this isn't a new topic for the channel, but what is new is another method to create professional email signatures that you don't have to pay a third party to create. Now this is the simplest way that I have found to create a very professional and very real estate oriented email signature. So I wanted to share it, share it with you today. So if you go to boxbrownie.com slash members email dash signature, and this will be in the description below. So you just need to click through it and it'll, it'll take you to this website but you're gonna to need to create an, an account. The account is free. Box Brownie has different, different options. I'm gonna let you check that out, what they actually do. But what I'm really interested in this video is about the email signature. So Box Brownie provides this service for free. You yes, you do need to create the you do need to create a profile, but again, it costs nothing. As you can see here, I owe nothing, I owe nothing, nor have I um, put money into this account. So with that being said, we're gonna go really quickly through the through the profile so you see exactly what we're looking at. And then um, we're gonna save the signature so you so you get a sense of how easy it is. Now I always say that it's a very quick video or we're gonna to try to be brief, so this time I promise. So let's just jump in real quick. All right, so we're gonna go signature two. It's a different style. Um, actually, no, this is my, let's see what this does. All right, we're gonna go with signature one. And my primary color is 99. There we go. My name. Uh, bum, bum. Team name, echo, agent number, tagline. I don't have one, echo name. Now this is one that I would play around with. As you see here, the team name populates up here. And then the company name is gonna populate right here. So if you have a team name, you do need a, well at least in the state of Texas, you do need to have your broker's name, um, name displayed somewhere. So since this is your email signature, either include it in your actual email signature or leave a space when you're uploading it to your Outlook or out, uh, uploading it to your CRM or Gmail whatever account you're gonna upload this to, just be cognizant of that. So this is, mine does not look exactly like this. The team name I actually ended up deleting, but the rest of it, this is what you're gonna to wanna to play around with. And then the address, And just for the sake of time, because I, I do want to be respectful, email, website, mobile app link. So if you have an app, that's where you would put it. Then facebook.com. This is actually the reason that I wanted to create one through here. And full disclosure, I know you've seen other videos where I share the Fiverr strategy the wise stamp strategy, uh, the strategy, I shouldn't say strategy, the method, and then the method where I actually create my own email signature. I am doing neither, even though I have paid Fiverr. I haven't used wise stamp yet for the email signature portion, and I have created my own, my own email signatures, but I've scrapped those other methods and I have actually used this one just to try it out. So far, so good. It, um, it's not affecting my deliverability. The links seem to be working. And um, 
as far as being received by the audience or the people that I email, so far so good. So I'm just gonna go through this. So you see, well, you're not able to see it right now, but when I scroll up, you're gonna see what it looks like, which is pretty sharp. Uh, okay, so if you go up here, this is what it's gonna look like. Now, if you upload a logo, on this one, I uploaded my my image. So I, I, I uploaded a headshot here and it would show right in through here. So again, it is super simple. If I actually had, if I wanted to make this five more minutes, then I would, I would uh, go ahead and get all the links and everything else like that, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that to you. And the two custom URLs here, this is where I put my IABS and the uh, consumer notice. So the IABS will go here and the consumer notice. And then I don't have a promo strip, but you can absolutely do that as well. Again, again it's super simple. So all you need to do is go to Safe Signature and it's going to populate it up here. Copy it. You've copied it to the clipboard and now you have it in your clipboard so you go over to Outlook and go to your settings and then just paste or you can go over to your Gmail then go to your settings and paste as well and then your CRM same thing applies and that's it again it's a very simple link and it's boxbrownie.com slash members email uh, slash email dash signature and it will be in the description below and it produces something very, very professional, very, very cool. So that's it again. I have scrapped the other methods of doing it. So if this is something that appeals to you, I would suggest you give it a shot. Nothing beats free in my mind. And it doesn't look free at all. It just, it presents quite well. Um, now this is the straight template that you can't really deviate too much from it. But a way to get around that is when you paste it over to your Gmail or Outlook or CRM, you can add things to the top or add things to the bottom, however you choose to do that. So that's it. If there's any questions, please feel free to reach out and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Feel free to check out some of the other videos in this channel. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. Lastly, join our growing Facebook group full of content to help grow your business.